Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a video on how to make the perfect beef wellington. First things first, pop to your local butchers for a fillet of beef. Then pop to your supermarket for the following items. For your shopping list you need a fillet of beef and don't be afraid to ask for a different cut if the one you are offered doesn't look great. Prosciutto, English mustard, fresh thyme, mixed mushrooms, black pepper, puff pastry pre-rolled, salt and the most important thing, cling film. To get things started, season your fillet of beef with a bit of salt and pepper all round, rub it in and be generous with the pepper. The next part of your beef wellington preparation is to seal the meat. So add it to a pan of hot rapeseed oil. Make sure the pan is very hot before you add it. And then you just simply leave it to brown around the edges, not for a really long time, but just give it a bit of colour. Turn it round, do the ends, and then you are good to go. While the meat is still hot, using a pastry brush, brush the meat with English mustard. You can use French mustard if you prefer, but you just want to paint it on while it's still hot so it's absorbed into the meat. Leaving the meat to cool, you can move on to your mushrooms. De-stem if you like, give them a good wash first as well to get any muck off. And then you can either blend them, I don't have a blender so I chop, chop to a fine consistency because they are going on the inside round your wellington so they want to be nice and small. It takes a while but with a good knife it's actually quite satisfying. Really important when it comes to cooking the mushrooms to do it in a very dry pan. It looks like an awful lot of mushrooms to begin with but... Let me tell you, once they've got all that liquid out of them, there won't be an awful lot left. And you'd really need to get all of the liquid out of them. When you think you've done, keep going because it will stop your wellington from having a soggy bottom. I mean, just look at all of that liquid bubbling up. And this is in a completely dry pan, so that is pure mushroom juice. I actually use a masher to press down and squeeze out any more moisture just to ensure it's all out. Next up, it's your best friend cling film and you need to lie out two... Oh my god, my sausage dog snoring over the top of me recording is it's really adding to this video. So lay out two sheets of cling film and then you can get ready to cover them in prosciutto, which is probably my least favourite job of making beef wellington. You need to envision that you're putting the meat on top of the prosciutto, so that's how wide it needs to be always buy extra prosciutto because you need to fill in any gaps if there's holes and it's an absolute bugger to basically to separate from its molten plastic i don't think that's a word but there is so much plastic and it always tears so buy extra then you can patch it up and make sure there's absolutely no gaps then you can cover your prosciutto layers in the cooked mushrooms very cooked mushrooms finally sprinkle with fresh thyme now for the first scary bit, rolling the beef into the prosciutto to make a nice round even cylinder to go in the fridge for a while. So you need to peel, there may be an easier way of doing this if you're more logical than me, but this is how I do it. So I put the beef on, I fold it up with the cling film and then I do the same the other side. But if there are any gaps, now's the time to patch them up. Ignore the mushroom flying everywhere. Ignore the bits that get stuck in the end when you twizzle them. Basically, just make sure it's very compact and then absolutely cover it in more cling film, making it really tight so that it creates the perfect shape for even cooking throughout. After your welly has been in the fridge for around an hour minimum, you can leave it overnight, you're safe to move on to the next stage. I'm afraid I forgot to tell you that you will need an egg, assuming you already had one. Um, but you need an egg for uh, making the pastry sticky, basically. So get your egg ready, whisk it up, make that egg wash. And then you can get your welly out of the fridge, which will look a bit like a very large prosciutto sausage. And if on cue, the sausage is snoring away still in the background. And so begins part two of wrapping up your welly this time with pastry. I do think it's very important to wrap your welly rather than to just place pastry on top of pastry and fork down the edges. You don't want a flat bottomed welly, you want it to be round and you could cut it from any angle if you wanted to. This is quite a big one. 
And the problem with using pre-roll pastry is obviously that it's not quite long enough. So you can just place a band-aid over the end to close and seal those ends off. Apply egg wash to the, the lip of the pastry that you're going to glue down. And when you go to cut your squares to put over the end to patch it up, put egg wash on those as well. And then you will want to wrap this up in cling film, which is, I know it's very unenvironmentally friendly, but maybe you can get recyclable cling film, who knows. And wrap it up really tight, make the perfect cylinder welly again and pop it back into the fridge. While your welly is in the fridge, you may want to make your artwork. I am making sausage dog artwork. After your welly has been in the fridge, making a nice round shape, take it out, unwrap it, have a look at it to see if there's any holes on it anywhere, patch them up if there are, place it onto a baking sheet and score it with a knife before placing your artwork, like my sausage dogs, on top. You then need to egg wash the entire thing again before adding a bit of a sprinkle of salt on top of your pastry. I add it to the baking sheet with no grease because it doesn't need any moisture. I then pop it in the oven at 180 degrees for 25 minutes. That's for medium rare. Don't be afraid to leave it in the oven for a bit longer, but once it's done, it's done. Take it out and put it to rest. You want a golden colour on the pastry and then you've got to wait for the moment of truth, the cutting in. The moment of truth, cutting into the welly. Make sure you go thick so that you don't just end up with pastry at the end. Et voila! A very rare, perfect beef wellington that I am going to really, really enjoy.